Superstone's chlorostain system for staining concrete is your pathway to opportunity. Expanses of plain gray concrete can be transformed into beautiful and appealing spaces. It's the ideal system for redesigning the aesthetic appeal of existing concrete surfaces. Superstone's chlorostain system can also be used in new construction to create dynamic and distinctive hardscapes. Chlorostain adds age and character to your interior and exterior designs. It's the alternative to spending thousands of dollars on tile, stone, or wood when you can spend a minimum on the most basic surface of all, concrete. With this system, you just stain it and seal it. That's it. That simple. Superstone's Chlorstain can be used on a wide variety of flooring and pavement, including walkways, plazas and lobbies, pool decks, driveways, street sections and patios, and other commercial and residential applications. Now, let's take a look at how to create some of the designs you're looking at. It's really pretty easy, but there are some tips and techniques you need to know to create surfaces as beautiful as these. We're going to be looking in on a Superstone seminar in Miami, Florida on a warm Saturday afternoon where contractors and concrete professionals have come from around the world to learn the tips and techniques of Chlorstain. Here are the four steps to a finished floor. One, cleaning and preparation. Two, stain and add any treatment. Three, wash it off. And four, apply sealer and you're on your way to a fantastic looking hard surface. Let's begin. Let's start with a newly poured surface already prepared and ready to stain. We poured a concrete slab in our production work yard using a variety of different patterns and textures. New concrete should be allowed a minimum of 14 days to cure, preferably 21 to 30 days depending on weather conditions. A test section should be produced prior to the general application of the chemical stain. This test should be done on the job site on the specific surface to be stained. The effect of the colors produced by Superstone Chlor Stain are unique to each concrete surface and will vary in shade as do colors of stone, sand and other natural material. And they differ quite a bit from the colors on the color chart. The test area should be of adequate size for good visual inspection. The same worker, equipment, and technique should be used on the areas and the finished job site. Your surface must be clean and dry before applying core stain. The concrete surface must be clean to remove all dirt, grease, oils, and plaster stains. Previous coatings, water repellents, and adhesives should be removed with a scraper or commercial paint stripper. We'll show you the proper way to prepare your surface using a paint stripper solution a little later on in this video. Acid wash should never be used prior to applying chlorstain. Acid wash removes the concrete's ability to produce a chemical reaction when chlorstain is applied and will not allow your stain to be as beautiful as it could be. Chlorstain comes pre-mixed in one gallon and five gallon containers in ten beautiful colors. Azure pool blue, aged bronze, aged buff, light terracotta, aged copper green, Gold Amber, Light Palmetto Green, Mission Brown, Light Walnut Brown, Black. They're already mixed, so all you have to do is pour it into the plastic sprayer bottle and begin. The only mixing you'd have to do is, if you'd like to lighten a particular color, we make an extender that easily mixes and dilutes to accomplish the desired shade. First off, note that you should use only plastic spray bottles or sprayers with no metal parts. Metal parts will only last about 10 seconds. It's a liquid acidic to stain concrete. You should wear protective clothing, especially gloves, to keep your hands from being stained. It's also important to note that all of the ingredients in Superstone's Chlorstain are not toxic to you or the environment. Chlorstain should be applied by brush and scrubbed into the concrete surface. On large areas, the chlorstain can be hand-pumped sprayed using a fan tip to apply the stain to the surface while scrubbing with a brush. You can also use a stiff broom for applying to large areas. 
Your brushes should be uncolored, acid-resistant nylon bristles with a medium stiffness and able to hold liquids. Brushes with colored bristles can discolor the surface. Superstone chlor stain should be applied full strength. The only exception is when using the liquid extender when the desired effect is a lighter color than the pre-mixed color. A minimum of two separate applications are normally required. Only one coat may be required if you've used Superstone Concrete Hardener. The coverage should be 75 to 100 square feet per gallon for two applications. The square footage equates to 150 to 200 square feet per gallon per coat. Apply a uniform film thickness. The liquid chlor stain color will not resemble the final color produced on the concrete surface. The color changes as the chemical reactions take place. Superstone chlor stain has a slight bubbling or fizzing action when applied to the concrete. If this doesn't happen, the surface was not properly prepared. When you spray the stain onto the surface of the concrete, it should be brushed or scrubbed immediately. Don't let the solution lay there long before scrubbing, as the staining process begins immediately as the chlor stain reaches the concrete. Scrub or brush in circular motions. Usually about three swirls or figure eights is enough to spread it properly. Once covered and swirled about three times, stop working on that area and move on to the next section. This will give you the most desirable and natural looking effect. Remember, puddle the stain in a small spot, swirl it in and leave it alone to dry.